you know, acknowledgement of the audience wow. from them. So with that record uh, ready to go and with all of the hits they had and all the momentum, they could barely get America to pay attention to them. Three, three records, because EMI was the parent company of Capitol Records, but they weren't on Capitol yet. They sent, please please me over, flop. From me to you over, flop. And believe it or not, she loves you, which was one of, still is, except it was passed by Molo Kintyre, by some other guy, some, yeah. some McCartney guy. Yeah. But She Loves You was the largest selling single ever in England. And it wasn't until I Want to Hold Your Hand that the pressure got to be too much. There was too much of a snowball effect happening already. And EMI says, do something. So Capital put out about $50,000 at the time, which was a, a ransom, with little kind of, the Beatles are coming. The Beatles are coming. Now, the Beatles, even though we all know Ed Sullivan, Jack Parr had presented them. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. It was a film, right? Yep. It was a tape. Seen it. <laughs> there was one other guy that also was the first, even before Jack Parr. Anybody know who that is? Walter Cronkite. Yes. Yes. Showed the Beatles first. But it was Ed Sullivan that signed them up, and Brian cut a deal, which he was not happy about cutting. He said they get top billing, they get three shows, and I think they got $10,000 for all three. And they taped the first one. Right, and, and the funny thing is, yeah, because the first Ed Sullivan show turned out to be the third, because in the afternoon of the ninth, they taped the one that was going to air on the 23rd. Exactly. Which is interesting to hear Ed go, uh, we're so sorry to see these guys go. They've been so, <laughs> it's a great group of youngsters, and he hadn't even seen them yet at this point. Uh, right, so. right. And, but the, in between, they went down to Miami, to the right. Deauville Hotel. And I'm sure you were around then? We, I was living in Miami at the time, sure, and our local CBS station, they, the whole Ed Sullivan broadcast team came down. And if you ever watch it on the Sullivan DVDs, it all takes place highly a racetrack and right. up by the pool of the Deauville Hotel. And so they actually did broadcast the entire show from there. So we actually did in Miami last year, our 50th anniversary, we had a Beatle band come in and mm -hmm. uh, they, they looked black and white on the stage. They did that same set of songs. So we commemorated it, the Miami anniversary, much like folks in New York did of course. for that. But yeah, those three shows on the Ed Sullivan Show, record viewership, as you know. And uh, that kind of takes us back to the very beginning of today where we talked about how you got interested. So we are going to pick up with all of this tomorrow uh, when we come back and uh, pick up from the Ed Sullivan Show, go all the way through to the end of the Beatles, which we really could spend all day on, but we're going to have our all limited week. amount of time. We'll spend all week on it, too. So <laughs> that is, uh, we're going to have to, that's part one of the Allure of Beatle Brunch live right here today. So what do you think? 